Hi everyone, welcome back to the Angular project series. My name is Anil and this is our video number 13 and in this video we will uh, just make some updates. We are not uh, just making up some new functionality but we will add something like we are just want to add some footer and uh, there is a nothing on our home page and it should not be refreshed on uh, on the menus this is not going to refresh but on a restaurant click or low click this is actually uh, refreshing so how we can resolve this problem and this you can see that this is our project refactor video all right so now let's start so first of all uh, let's uh, we don't have anything on our home so let's make the listing at our home so that let's go inside the app.component.html file and here uh, you have to do one thing that our router should be blank here so that when we just click on that one route we will just go on a home but there is nothing at home so let's go on a app.routing.module and here just remove this route from the home but when our router is blank then please keep in mind that it should be at the last in our uh, uh, routing list all right so now you can see that at the home we are able to see this list and when you just click on the list restaurant it will just take it at the home so now now let's uh, resolve this problem you can see the refresh problem for that let's uh, come back on the app.component.html file and here just add this blank route with the hrefs all right so just right here router link will be blank like this so now this problem is also resolved now this is not going to be refresh right perfect so now what is the next so now let's make a footer so for making the footer we just add a footer tag here and here let's add one p tag and just write here something like register your restaurant Mm -mm. with us all right cool so now let's what we are getting but this is not look like a footer this is something else right so now let's make it footer for that we just need to add some changes in the style so just uh, go on a footer tag and add a padding 10 pixel background color background color can be <laughs> sky blue yeah but sky blue is not perfect we can add with the uh, this top color the same color can be place it so this is not visible too much so we can just make it a little bit dark and uh, let's change the position of it position can be absolute with the padding uh, uh, so left will be zero bottom also we're gonna zero like this width gonna hundred percent yes that's right so now let's copy this style from here to app.component.style.css just paste it here and add footer now let's check what we are able to see okay so this is our footer and uh, this is available for all pages right that's pretty cool now um, now you can see that the breadcrumb is not actually perfect it will just uh, come out very earlier so it will be shown when I'm just getting on the and that screen all right so for that let's come out the app root component dot uh, HTML file and change it with the SM so now let's look it out it will be just shown when the screen is very small like this perfect so what we can add uh, more change so we can add a uh, list is fine we can add a header for uh, added uh, sorry for uh, listing the restaurant for that let's come on a listing component and let's add a h1 tag here oh, what the hell is that 
h1 and just write here restaurant restaurant tasting something like this cool not cool fine not not even much cool but that's fine we can go with it okay so after that uh, let's just remove the user from the login and the registration because if there is login that means the user will be obviously login no robot is not going to do it okay so let's come here and just remove the user and the registration also all right so let's make it refresh here is now login and refresh all right so thanks for watching this video in the next video we will see that how we can register this uh, user here all right so bye bye take care don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye